So, you want to go infinity and beyond? Well, Buzz Lightyear can help you out with that one. I cannot. Hey guys, I'm Batsuts by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again to take a look at how to make some infinite text. Um, a nice little effect where it kind of just, you know, makes it look like it's infinite. So, we're going to start it. I'm going to delete default cube by hitting delete on our keyboard. We're going to grab our lamp and then hit Alt G to clear the location. And we're just going to hit GZ to move it forward. Um, I'm going to select my camera, the same thing. So, Alt G and Alt R to clear location and rotation. Then I'm going to hit RX 90 on my numpad. And then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis and left click to confirm that. We're going to hit G Y to move the camera back. And we're going to hit zero to go into the camera's view. Now, I'm going to hit uh, Shift A and we're going to search for a text mesh here. And we're going to hit RX 90 to rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. Left click to confirm that. Go to the text tab here and then change, uh, go down to font. Open that up and hit this, little, hit this little folder right here and select your font that you want to use. I'm using a font called Burbank Big, um, which is a nice font. I really enjoy it. So I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to change what the font actually says. So you can change it to uh, anything you really want. It doesn't really matter what it is. So I'm just going to leave it today as text, but I'm going to capitalize everything. So make, make it nice and you know big like that. Um, so there we go. It looks nice. I enjoy that. So we're, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to scroll on down here to alignment and change the horizontal to center and the vertical. We can change that also to center. Now this is going to be perfect. So what I like doing is instead of doing that, I like leaving it on uh, bottom baseline and then changing the Y offset because it is different depending on the font you are using. So for this font, the center looks like it's somewhere around negative 0.25, which is nice. So you can hit S to scale this bad boy up a little bit. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pan over to the, to the side view here a little bit using the middle mouse button. Once again, the middle mouse button, the button in the middle of my mouse, uh, the one that you can scroll in and out, click that, and then you can, you know, go around like this. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to geometry up here, and we're going to change the extrude value. As you can see, this is making it look like it's, you know, really super long, which is nice. So we can get a nice extrude value, maybe five, and then I'm going to have to move this back because obviously it's, you know, close to the camera now, which is not what I want. G Y to move it back. The front of the text should be back where that red line is at. Um, the origin is way back here now, but that does not matter since we're not, you know, doing anything crazy with that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit zero, go back into the camera's view, and you can see we have a nice little like text zoom effect, right? So I want this to be even more distorted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move it a little bit closer to the um, to the uh, the camera here. I can actually move the camera up as well by hitting G and double tapping Z. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the focal length. So we're going to make the focal length go out like this, right? But we're going to make it like the text super close so that it just looks more and more distorted as much as is possible. And if you, can, if you can't tell already, um, the reason I'm doing that is because this little centerpiece is way smaller than if I were to do something like this. So obviously this right here is what it looks like, you know, with that little tiny center point back there. But if I were to move the camera back, right, and then change the focal length up so that it's like, you know, further back the way that it was, and you can see that that focal point is very, very big now. So you can see this does not look as long, doesn't look as infinite as it, as it did before. So we can go ahead and just fix that, like I said, just moving the camera very close and then changing the focal length, length to like four or something, and then making sure we can get the text as, as close as is possible to the camera. Um, now, if you're having trouble getting it exact, you can hit G and double tap Z, double tap Z, and you can move it in and out. And to get this more precise, hold down shift and you can move in smaller increments. So that's nice. There we go. That is uh, our infinite like focal point kind of thing. It is a very, very, very small now. As you can see, it does look like it goes back there way further than it actually does. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to really quickly light our scene by going to the render tab here and then grabbing our lamp and then just moving it up out of the text. So let's grab it and then just move it on up like that. Move it out a little bit so it's not as bright because it's excruciatingly bright now. So change this to 10 in the lamp tab down here. So maybe like, maybe not 10, maybe 50. I'm just going to move this around a little bit. And maybe something like 
Something like that, I suppose. Yeah, it looks good. All right, cool, sweet. So you can do anything with the lamp. The lighting does not matter, of course. Obviously, this is not a lighting tutorial, but uh, you get the idea. You get the idea. So that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. That is our nice focal point way back there. And let me actually just real quick, let's add in a plane. I'm going to move this way back here just so you can get a, a nice feel for the how, how different it actually is. I'm going to make this an emission shader just really quickly. And we are going to go ahead and take a look by just scaling that up and then changing it to like a color like that. So cool. There we go. Now you can see we have that super long focal point way back there. But yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.